And I've gotten really good at knowing that I have to mute the Facebook when it comes on. And come on, Zoom, you can do it. All right. It's the Facebook. Yay, we're on. Hey, hey, everybody. We are excited to be here tonight. Um, this is going to be fun for all of us. And this is about something that I know nothing about, which is going to make this even better. So I want to introduce our guests here, our panelists. They're the ones with all the knowledge. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Darla Grandy, and I'm actually here in San Diego, California. Beautiful San Diego. You might catch a little bit of a beautiful sunset behind you guys here, but there's been a lot of buzz going on about what are NFTs. And as many of you know, my husband is involved in an academy and it's changed our life and our daughter's in it now. And the more I dig into this and I hear the conversations that are going around, I'm learning so much from these people who are making money in fields and I'm all about bringing information to everyone. So I'm gonna do the introduction here and I'm gonna let these guys be the ones to give the knowledge because they are brilliant at what they do. And so NFTs, I don't even know what NFTs stands for. I was calling it the NFL for the longest time before I could figure out it's NFTs. So here's what I'm going to do, because these guys are the ones that are filled with the information. I'm going to turn it over to them and I'm going to start it off here with Graham because Graham and I are the ones that actually started this. And keep an eye, do me, do me a favor, Grace, and keep an eye for Trevor to make him a co-host and a panelist as we, well. We got him in here, he's here. Perfect. All right. So Graham, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it over to you. And I want, I want you to talk to me as if I, as if you're really educating me on what these are, like, what is, what does NFT stand for? How does it make sense to somebody like me and talk to the old school person as well, because you guys are the tech savvy people that know all the modern technology, but talk to somebody like me, because there's a world of people out there that are searching for what's new in this world. And you know, as well as I do, we don't have the lingo like you guys do. <laughs> I get to call you guys kids. <laughs> so Graham, I'm going to turn it over to you and I'm going to mute and you have a conversation with me and do your thing that you're the master of. So good. Well, I appreciate you uh, putting this together, Darla. I'm glad you reached out because if you want something new, there's literally nothing newer than NFTs. Like for people who are looking for an opportunity to get into a market that is literally like cutting edge brand new, NFTs are it. Um, and basically NFT stands for non-fungible token. What that means in just regular everyday Walmart language, if I can use the term, it just means that it's a, a digital asset that is verified on the blockchain. And then people are like, well, what is the blockchain? It just means that there's multiple computers that look at a transaction and say, yes, that's a legitimate transaction. It's now verified and like certified, right? Like we've all seen it. It exists now. We all agree that it exists on the blockchain. So it's kind of like a verified certified assets. So NFTs can be a lot of different things. Like music can be NFTs. Um, artwork can be NFTs. Uh, cartoon characters can be NFTs. Uh, there are vehicle NFTs. There's, uh, there's NFTs for video games, um, which I'm especially going to cover that part. And what I want is um, if Trevor and Grace are cool with it, um, Trevor is absolutely crushing it uh, in the NFT space right now. And there's multiple ways to go about this. Um, and what's important for people to understand is that digital assets right now, you can purchase them, again, verified on the blockchain, all right, which is basically cryptocurrency technology. And when you purchase it, you can actually earn passive income just from holding that on some of the projects. You can flip it and sell it, or other people can use your asset and also uh, make money with that asset. And then you can also share it. So you can actually run it like a business. And so we're going to cover all those different aspects tonight. Um, I think Trevor, he's, Trevor is like the bomb at flipping NFTs, right? Like this guy knows his stuff. He created an entire Discord group where like literally this is what they do is they buy and sell um, NFTs. So um, Trevor, if you're here, what, I, what I'd like to do is have you actually kick off that side of things 
Um, and then what we'll do is I'll dive more into um, the side that like really I love, which is more the, the video game side and what's happening there and how to actually run a business with video games and what this can do for people, even if they don't even like video games, how you can actually make money from something that's actually a massive industry, right? So we'll have, I want Trevor to, to talk because like one of the things is that you guys got to understand NFTs, imagine if you could go back and buy Amazon stock at the onset of Amazon, right? How many of y'all put some fives in the chat if you were like, hey, if I could go back and buy Amazon stock, I would do that, right? Like at the onset, yeah, like we all would be there. We'd be buying Amazon stock. We'd, we'd take out our like, you know, forget about our kids, children, like college fund, like our parents, reti our retirement, every, like we would have gone back and we bought our Amazon with everything, right? Or if you could have bought Bitcoin 10 years ago, you probably would have put everything you owned into buying Bitcoin, right? And so right now there's some opportunities in the NFT world where they're speculative assets, but they can be incredibly uh, lucrative. And so Trevor's been crushing the game on that. Um, and I think, I think Darley, you really need to hear from him on some of the amazing things he's been doing. And if you guys are lucky, he might even show you some of the projects that he's gotten in with. Um, you can see some of the artwork. So Mr. Trevor Johnson, are you there and are you available? I am there. I'm just not able to share my video at this given moment. Uh, Darla just needs to update that permission to allow me to share video. Gotcha. Gotcha. You're good. Oh, there we, there go. we go. There's the man with the plan. There we go. <laughs> so yeah, guys. So I see that there's a great handful of people. There's literally over 50 attendees on this call. So congratulations for all you guys just for showing up Uh big pats on the back, but uh, yeah, I've actually have a couple of things to share. And honestly, I'm just going to like be super transparent, right? Because I think transparency is everything. And especially within, you know, the world of money and the world of crypto, I feel like there's, you know, some shady stuff and there's a lot of like, you know, uncertainty and all that stuff, but I want to be as transparent as possible. Just share what, you know, I personally done, how I've been helping people and for the newest beginner, just to understand a little bit more of this space. So um, just know I'm coming from my heart and I'm just showing, you know, what I've done. And, uh, you know, if you choose to do something like this, you know, feel free. And I'm always here to support. I'm um, just also understand that I'm not a financial advisor or anything like that. So, um, but that being said, guys, I want to start it off here is quite simply is just looking at, you know, the adaptation of what, you know, NFTs as a whole, um, you know, what does, you know, the stats, what do the numbers say? Because at the end of the day, numbers don't lie. And um, I want to share, you know, just some, you know, the overall space. And then after that, I'm going to break into some of the projects that I got to. I'm going to tell you my personal story with it, share a little bit of my collection, and I'll pass it back to Graham. Um, so that way we are, you know, going through this information as quickly as possible, but as informative as possible too. So guys, um, what I'm looking at here is a graph, and this is sharing, you know, the overall volume this is on one of the largest NFT marketplaces called OpenSea. So some of you guys might've heard of it. Some of you guys might not have, and that's totally cool. But just understand this is where a lot of the volume for you know, buying and selling NFTs, um, they come from this marketplace. So we're just looking at this one data. You know, So there is more marketplaces out there. So there is more volume than what we see. But I want to show you guys a little bit of the trend here. So... What do we see here is, you know, this is the beginning of 2020, right? There wasn't much going on whatsoever down here. Like we don't even see any bars, right? And then in, uh, you know, in this time from May to June, we saw some volume coming in and, you know, this was massive amounts of money. Like, look at this. This is $328 million, right? That, that's a lot of money, right? Coming in. But what, did, what happened here? We had a massive explosion in July, August, September, right? Where we started to seeing massive amounts of volume upwards to over $3 billion, guys. That, that's exponential growth, right? So think about this as we're dealing with a lot of money. It's, it's trending. You know, we have an ability to be a part of it. But at the end of the day, it's still very, very fairly new, right? Um, you know, we can look at some of these other data here is, you know, we see some daily volume, you know, this was a big spike here. We saw over $322 million traded in a single day of volume, right? You know, that's a lot of money, right? And, and right now we're seeing, you know, a little bit of a pullback and this is normal with any market cycles, right? 
we're seeing, you know, $50 million, you know, yesterday was in the market. That well, was that today, you know, today in the market, $50 million, right? That's a lot of money, right? So, you know, this is what we can see here in terms of the graph, right? Of what's sort of happening within this space. So I just wanted to share that first things first. And then of course there's other networks and, you know, there's other, you know, avenues that, you know, NFTs are bought and sold on. But I'll show you guys some of my favorites. So um, that being said, I'm going to open up my wallet here. So don't mind me. So when you're getting into NFTs and so forth like that, you know, um, the big thing here is you're going to get, you know, like a wallet. And uh, this is all very baseline, like it's all streamlined for you. Like I have a Discord, you know, any of you guys can hop in there and it's literally step-by-step -step of how to create this wallet, how to put some money in there, how to get your first NFT, stuff like that. You know, that's all there. Um, so don't worry Bro, I'm about- digging, oh. I'm digging the baby Yetis. Yeah, right? <laughs> all the logistics of it. So this is, you know, what I love about NFTs, guys, you know, it's not just about collecting these arts. You're like, why would I pay, you know, a thousand bucks for this guy here? Or, you know, why would I, why would I buy, you know, this digital art when I could just take a screen pick or go grab something along those lines, right? You're like, you know, it's just a picture, right? Like, why would I spend money on that? Well, it's not just a picture, right? It's, it allows you exclusive access into, a community, it gives you exclusive perks to, you know, maybe royalties, maybe ways to create a residual passive income. It also has a value behind it too, because, you know, can I just sell you a picture? Like I could take a picture of my meerkat here and I can send it off to all you guys and you can have the meerkat, but are you able to go resell that for a thousand dollars? Probably not because it's not verified by the blockchain. It's not the one of one and there's nothing special about it because, because it's, it's just a copycat, right? Where this is actually verified. Nobody can copy it. Nobody can uh, create it um, on, that, on that collection, right? There's only a thousand of these meerkats, right? Hey, Andrew, I want to ask an ignorant question because I'm the ignorant one going to break down things that I'm missing the link on. So is this like having a signed autograph? Somebody keeps blowing me off. <laughs> now. Oh. I'll zoom. Oh, just pick it up. Pick it up, please. <laughs> um, is it like having an autographed artist's painting that would be hanging on your wall, but it's on digital? If it's verified, that's like having it autographed because yeah, it's verified. So, for example, some famous artists or just artists that, you know, have not blown up yet, for example, right? They've now been deciding to put their art um, within, you know, the the blockchain space within the NFT space. So that way it is, you know, verified, right. And no one can just, you know, make a print of it. And, mm -hmm. uh, and they have, you know, cause it's also based off of supply and demand, right. You know, certain paintings are worth more money because there's only a limited amount of them. Right. The way, the way I'm kind of understanding this is like, I remember when, when I was a kid, music was on records and then it went to DVDs and then it went to, downloadable music and I couldn't understand that how it was going from a tangible source to something you couldn't touch so is that kind of like the way this is this is a verified piece of of art but it's digital versus tangible yeah so basically um each collection is unique to its own collection right so you know um these pieces come from the actual collection itself, right? That is verified by the artist or by the- That's what I wanted to know, okay. Itself, right, and you can get it. For example, another um, a good example would be, for example, sports collectibles, right? We all collect it, you know, maybe hockey cards or baseball cards growing up, right? And we collect them and, you know, they're unique as well because, you know, they have a serial number on the back, right? Where you you know, if you got the, you know, the first edition, you know, maybe it was worth some extra money or a rookie card, you know, it's the same thing here because, you know, um, certain ones with certain traits are actually worth more money because it can be more rare versus more common, right? So it's the same sort of deal on that side. But what's really cool as well, guys, is you can actually take your art, your digitalized art, you can get certain paint, um, frames for them and you can still display them on your, in your home. 
right? As well, um, just created a, a, you know, this little plug is created a, a drop shipping store and a clothing line where we want to bring your NFTs to life where you can simply, you know, with a click of a button, put your NFT on a t-shirt onto a hoodie. So that way you can actually wear it, right? Display it, be proud of it. Because, you know, as well, this is like a digital flex. Think about, you know, people with a blue check mark, right? It's the same thing of like, you know, owning certain of these NFTs get you exclusive access to the certain clubs, like to the certain parties that you only, if you have the NFT, you can get into that club, right? So um, I want to share with you guys, you know, my examples, because I think that's the easiest way to find out was my first collection, guys, I started with these meerkats, right? I bought these meerkats um, about a month ago, maybe a little bit longer than a month ago now, five weeks ago, I got into these meerkats. It was my first NFT project because you know, for me, I made some profits with, you know, Solana. I bought into Solana when it was like $9 a coin back in, you know, in the beginning of the year and it blew up. It's gone up to $200 a coin now. And I was like, you know what, I'm going to take half of those profits. I'm going to invest into some NFTs because I've been hearing about it. I hear people talking about it. It's a good way to maybe, you know, allocate some of my assets, accumulate more. Because at the end of the day here, we're looking at how can you turn, you know, an investment into a return of investment in terms of, you know, also creating more additional wealth, right? So I bought these um, meerkats. I thought I was only going to buy two of them. I ended up accidentally buying four of them and, uh, you know, turned out to be a very good mistake. Bro, that's <laughs> a really good accident, <laughs> right? So I ended up buying four of these meerkats. And what happened too was when I bought in, because um, I was one of the first people to buy them, they did what was called an airdrop. So they gave me one for one. So they doubled up my meerkat. So I actually got eight meerkats in total um, from this um, project, right? So um, for me buying those eight meerkats, all you got to understand, it costed me six Solana, six Solana total for those eight meerkats. Um, you know, six Solana at the time is roughly around, you know, a thousand, eleven hundred US dollars kind of deal right around that price point you know let's and for those that don't understand a solana is a cryptocurrency exactly okay so that's what i got in on it right so right away um i traded a friend of mine for some like swag and some gear like 200 dollars worth of stuff so i already got my like return on my investment i felt comfortable about that and then once when it went live so i could sell it secondary so once when the project goes live um, you can sell it on a secondary marketplace and you can turn a profit for it, right? You can sell it for whatever price point you want, whatever the valuation is. And the prices just went up. Like it was crazy. And I sold my first one at six Solana just so I can get my return on my investment back. So I got all my money back and I was like, okay, I'm break even. Right. And then I sold my next one at like 13 Solana. So I sold one at 13 Solana. I ended up buying another one at nine and a half because I was like, I want another one. And then I sold another one for uh, 18 Solana down the line. And we've seen these price points go all the way up towards uh, around 40 Solana for one of these guys, right? So you do the math and you're like, well, that's like a 10X, 20X, 30X on an investment. Of course, not all the projects are going to be like this. When I look into investing into NFTs, I always think of it as risk to reward based trading, right? Just like with trading in, in the financial markets, you know, it's all risk to reward. It's like, what am I willing to risk for? What amount of gain can I get? Right. And I think of it this way as it's just important because everything in here is, is risky. Right. But the biggest thing is, is just go do it, figure it out as you go and make the mistakes, but you know, you will be rewarded in the long run. So, you know, what I mean by this, it's like, okay, well, I can invest into maybe three, four different projects right? And just by one of them taking off, if those three were losses, well, just that one that took off pays back all the losses plus more, right? So that's what was my experience. And then I took some of my profits and I bought all these other projects getting into these guys, right? Today, um, because I bought these Soul Yetis a few, like it was like two or three weeks ago, I bought these Soul Yetis. I helped a bunch of the team members get into that project. Well, today they gave us baby Yetis. So now they have a pair, right? So they just like, sometimes they incentivize you to hold your, your hold the project and they're going to give you 
free NFTs down the line, right? And now these have some sort of value to it, right? Um, for example, this chicken, right? Yeah, it's a cute little chicken, but guess what? You know, and, and uh, Graham's going to touch base on this. I can actually rent out this little cute chicken inside of a game, right? So I, I rent it out to a player that, you know, can't afford to buy the chicken, but they want to play the game. So I can rent out my chicken. So they use it within the game and it's called play to earn gaming. And they get to use that chicken in the game and they make some money, but because I own it, you know, I charge them a bit of money and we kind of split the profits, right? So I can make money passively by giving away my chicken, right? <laughs> crazy, right? These meerkats, you know, what's also really crazy about them. They're one of the first projects that give 100% of the royalties back to the actual, um, the owners, right? So because of that, all the secondary sales, I'm earning passively. For example, today is Meerkat Monday is what it called. So now on top of my other income streams, I get some money sent to me on Monday because I'm holding those Meerkats, right? And it was crazy. Like the first week with them, I, it gave me, it paid me out like, cause I was holding five of them or six of them at that time. And because of that, they paid me out like, you know, la la la, 1100 bucks. I was like, whoa, you know, just from holding it. So um, crazy, crazy stuff going on. Um, so that being said, guys, I want to share one last thing and I'll pass it off to Graham. Um, I want to just check in with the com comments here and just see what people are saying. Well, you read those comments. For those of you that are just logging on and watching, we are, I'm interviewing people that are in the academy that are showing you things that are learned and this is about nfts something that's very new and hot and trendy and this is something that is taught within this academy that for those of you that are watching jim is it the one that jim started a year ago that our daughter bella is in and these are the type of investments the type of stuff that they teach you in this academy so that's what you guys are watching here yeah so yeah. So just checking in on the comments, like guys, it is kind of crazy. It, it blows my mind every single day. Like the more I, I dive into it, the more I look into these projects, it is really crazy, right? There's some projects where, you know, people have, you know, got into a project for just a couple hundred bucks and down the road later, you know, maybe it's a month, maybe it's six months down the line. They're able to sell that thing for, you know, thousands and thousands of dollars, sometimes even upwards to millions of dollars. Right. So it's a, it's a crazy world that we live in. Like, for example, the highest sale of one of the meerkats, it was one of the rarest ones. And this is what's cool is because when you go in for a mint, it's kind of random if you get like a super rare one or a common one. So it's kind of fun that way. And some of them hold different perks. Well, that, that rarest one, someone sold that for like $170,000, you know, and they paid what it was 200 bucks to, to get it right. Like, you know, so it, it is super, super duper crazy, but it does get addicting. Um, the most important thing here is if you're in here to just make a quick flip, this isn't the space for you. Um, I'm telling you that because like, yes, you can make money and you can do quick flips and so forth like that. But, you know, this is about, you know, developing the mindset of becoming an investor and putting your money to work. Right. So um, and so forth like that. So, guys, um, I want to share two last things here is if you're like brand new to the space and you're like kind of curious and you want to get into it, you know, what's really cool is I've created um, a Discord chat where, you know, hey, if you're new to NFTs, well, you come into here, we use Discord. It's another platform that you might have to learn, but this is what's done in the NFT space, crypto space. They all use Discord. Like this is where you get the details of the upcoming drops, the projects, stuff like that. But right in here, on the new to NFT page, it's going to walk you through step by step, right? We have a fantastic call done by from some of our educators who just give you an overall overview of what NFTs are and sort of what we're doing tonight, right? We go step by step on how to create your wallet, um, get you plugged in, all that stuff um, to get involved, right? And we also have, you know, things to look out for. We have some of the drops that we're looking at. We have a chat where we can communicate, ask questions. You know, we're here to do this together, right? Collaboration over competition any day of, the week, day of the week. We want people to be, you know, getting results, taking action, 
and, and doing it right. You know, the biggest thing is like, if you want to join this group, like don't just join it and just look at things, you know, join it and actually take action. Right. Like, and, and do what, what is put out in front of us. Right. Cause that will get you the result that you're after um, as well. Um, you know, quick little plug in here is, I've actually partnered up with a handful of like an amazing team. And uh, we just officially like we're in the pre-launch space, but we just created our own NFT project where we're actually going to be um, creating our own art. We have, we partnered up with a fantastic artist, someone that's doing incredible work. And uh, he's creating some special unique NFTs for, for all of you guys. And we also have a sick developer who's going to be coding in all the right utility, all the stuff. We have the marketing in place. We have the team in place to really launch this, right? And our big goal here is um, we're creating 8,888 unique NFTs. Um, it's, it's within the dog niche. And our goal is to give back, you know, over 40% of all the profits back to the SPCA to help, you know, get dogs into into homes, right? Those homeless dogs that, that need a, a good family behind them. We're here to do that, right? And we have a whole story behind it. It's super exciting because, you know, we can actually, you know, create big impact through this space. That's what's cool too, is a lot of these projects, they give back to charities. They give back in different ways, right? So we're looking to, to raise money to create that um, as well through this space, right? And it, it's pretty cool. So definitely come take a look at this. You know, at the end of the day, it's like, you're trying to think, well, why would I just buy a picture, right? Like, you know, for example, if I was to sell you on this, you know, why would you want an NFT, the, the rough life rescues, right? Well, for one, yes, you can buy it and, you know, 40% uh, of the proceeds is going to go to the SPCA and you can feel good about that. But, you know, I don't want you to just come in and buy a picture and support a good cause. Like, that's not the point of here, right? The whole point here is, thinking of this as an investment, right? You're, you know, buying that next stock, buying that next crypto, you know, like what would be the reasoning for that to, to make a return on your investment, to make some money, right? Well, you know, it's creating that community behind it for long-term growth, right? To have a massive demand, to get more eyeballs out here, to create a bigger value. So that way, you know, you can buy in for one Solana, but you can sell it for three Solana. That would be fad, fantastic, right? But bringing more and more utility to it. So we are um, linking up with, you know, our coders and our stuff like that. So we raise special money as well. And, you know, some of these projects, what we do is we create a fund basically, right? So we have a pocket of a pool of money and then we go use that money, invest into other NFT projects, invest into cryptos. Maybe we buy some sort of, you know, brick and mortar business to, to accumulate more and more and create that pool into a bigger amount of money. And guess what? Because you own an NFT, you get to own a share of that pool, right? You get to own a piece of these other NFT projects. You get to own a piece of that bar that we now own, right? Things like that. And uh, you get to really be a part of something that's very, very special. So guys, I hope you guys learned something new. Um, hopefully it wasn't, you know, too confusing. I know it's a lot of information, but you know, the biggest thing I can say is, is get plugged in, trust the process, follow along because like, we're just in the beginning stages, right? Like there's so much more use case, more utility than what we're seeing right now. And, you know, it's still the beginning of this space, right? I personally, I'm investing in the Solana ecosystem because we saw all that big money go into Ethereum, right? You, you know, when I was showing you that first graph at the beginning, well, what happens when all that money comes into the Solana side too, right? There's no gas fees. It's lower barrier of entry for anybody to get in, right? Things like that. So guys, I'm super excited for what's to come here. Buckle up, get plugged in, learn a little bit, educate yourself, you know, go to school, get get going and just know that you're in the right place because we have people like Darla, Graham, Grace, everybody around us. We are one whole community to bring the whole herd together and create something beautiful. So guys, I appreciate every one of you. Pass it back to Graham and uh, let's get it. Thanks, Trevor. Dude, awesome, Trevor. Thank you. Excellent. As always, bro, it's good to be on here with you and, and in this space with you as well.
Oh, so, uh, one more shout out. Go ahead, if, bro. If anyone wants to get into that Discord or to get um, into that uh, other NFT project, please just reach out to the person that got you on here. They, they probably have my contact and that way we can get connected as well, okay? Because mm -hmm. we just want to make sure everyone gets the support so that way they get the results that they're after. So good. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, so you guys ready? Let, put sevens in the chat for Mr. Trevor. Wasn't that awesome? I love it. Every time, every time this man speaks, I get value. I love it. So good. All right, are you guys ready for the next step? Let's show you some more um, about the space and some of the things that I'm personally very excited about. Um, I'm going to share my screen with you as well. Guys, do me a favor and put a five in the chat if you know somebody who likes video games or plays video games. Put a five in the chat if you know someone who likes video games or plays video games, okay? It may not be you, but do you know somebody, all right? And there's a reason why I'm asking that question. I'll show you in just a minute, okay? You don't have to like video games to profit off of them, all right? I'm going to break it down for you. So guys, here's the bottom line. Video gaming is a $90 billion industry in 2020, okay? So last year, over $90 billion in, video, in the video game industry overall, okay? And there's some crazy things happening right now in the industry that are super disruptive because of NFTs, okay? So what I wanna share with you is again, there's some, uh, there's some passive income opportunities, uh, which was one of the reasons why I got really excited about it. There's active in income opportunities here. And uh, there's also some business opportunities here for those of you that are business minded. So I just wanna break that down for you super simple so that you have a clear understanding. And the next time you're around somebody, maybe you don't like video games, but you know what? You can actually speak their language and talk to them and reach them in a way that it matters to them, right? So I'm going to break that down for you, okay? So remember, guys, follow the money. $90 billion, okay? I can't even fathom how much money that is. It's a, it's a lot of money, okay? $90 billion in this space. So when it comes to NFTs, again, NFTs are a non-fungible token. And it's a verified digital asset, okay? So how many of y'all, y'all remember Pokemon? Maybe you played it, maybe you didn't. Put a three in the chat. If you guys remember Pokemon, let me see how many people played Pokemon or knew what Pokemon was or you heard about Pokemon, okay? Put a three in the chat for me, just so I know who was there, right? I know some of you did. I know some of you had Pokemon Gold. You had Pokemon. You had the red version. You had the blue version. <laughs> I know some of you... You were back there playing it on Game Boy. I know some of you did, okay? Back in the day, right? Yeah, blue, right? So I know you did. Guys, imagine that you actually went out, caught your Pokemon in the game, and then you physically owned that Pokemon and it was actually in your digital wallet, okay? You went out, caught it, and it actually physically was yours. That is what NFTs are doing. Imagine that that Pokemon was an actual NFT. And once you caught it or captured it, it was yours, okay? So there are games that are being developed right now because of blockchain technology that you literally can go out in the world. Um, in fact, I'll show them. I'll show one of them. They just came out with an amazing game uh, play trailer. Uh, that's going to be amazing. Um, and there's some really cool things I'm going to break down on this. But this is a game called Alluvium. It's very similar to Pokemon, but basically you go out, you capture these monsters, and then you can fight them against other people. But the thing is, is that you actually physically own the monster. Like it's yours. The video game doesn't own it. You own it and you can fight them, level them up. And you can also turn around and sell them. Okay. Which is just like super cool what they're doing. I'm selling them just like Trevor was just showing you guys as an NFT on the market, but it's an NFT that you can level up as it levels up. It becomes more rare, more valuable, because again, in the game, you can perform better. So the value goes up and now for time or effort that you put into it, you can turn around and sell it. Or you could have somebody else play it for you. And then later on, like now you have a more valuable asset. Later on, you can turn around and sell it. And again, it's gone up in value and you don't even have to be the one playing it, which is the crazy thing. So you have a game like Alluvium. So what, um, what we do in the academy uh, and what we do in our group is we teach people how to get involved in a game like this and invest on every aspect. So not only can you, if you want, go play the game, you could capture creatures in the game, turn around, sell them. There's people who get excited about that. There's people that could then capture it, let somebody else play it, earn money, and then later on uh, sell it and earn money. 
Or you could be somebody who's like, okay, $90 billion in this space. Uh, let me just invest in the company. So what if you can invest in Alluvium in of itself, right? Well, check this out. You can. So if we go over to CoinGecko right here, okay, I'm going to show you just like stocks. If you guys are familiar with the stock market, like you would buy a stock of a company. Like how many of y'all, again, would have liked to have gotten Amazon when Amazon first came out? Oh my gosh, I didn't even, <laughs> I didn't even look at the price of this today. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I own a bunch of Alluvium. So there's a reason why I have a smile on my face right now. Okay, so Alluvium, uh, it's up 7% today, which is awesome. One Alluvium is like a stock, but we don't have stock in crypto. We have crypto. So just like Bitcoin's a crypto or Ethereum is a crypto, Alluvium is the governance token or the coin or the currency or the stock of Alluvium, of the game, right? The company and everything, all right? And so you can see here, they have a max supply, which again, a limited amount, which makes it what? More valuable, right? The more of something, the less valuable, the lesser of something, the more valuable, which is also why NFTs have more value. They're limited, right? So Alluvium is worth 1,081. Well, let's take a look at the chart. I got in, a, in an Alluvium when it was like at like $100 or $200 or something, okay? Something crazy like that like way back here. And by the way, guys, you're thinking like, oh, this game's been around for a year. I want you to look at the date, July the 21st of July, 2021. This summer, while y'all were out on the, on the boat, having some drinks and enjoying your time, we were sitting here buying Alluvium for a hundred dollars. And now we're at a thousand dollars. So part of what we teach you to do in the academy is to find projects like this and get in early how to vet the project, how to know it's a good project. And now as an investor, you can come in and just invest in the company. You're not even playing the game. You're not even trading the NFTs, but you're investing in the company that's based around the NFTs. So that's one of the things that we teach you to do in the academy, okay? I'm gonna break down and show you a couple other things that I just really love um, about this space, but that's one of them. Again, the game is called Illuvium, all right? Now I gotta minimize this because it uh it always there we go all right i'm gonna show you guys another game all right understand that there's games out there that you can literally purchase property in like we own property in a game a large piece of property that we're earning money on um we own uh we literally some of us own buildings in games where literally like it's a blacksmith where if somebody comes into that town if any of you guys know what, like runescape is or these games where it's like an open world and you travel around somebody's an armor smith or weaponsmith making weapons and I can own the blacksmith in that town. And if they want to sell their weapons at my blacksmith, I get a 5% cut of whatever they sell, right? Because I bought that NFT, which was a blacksmith shop. Things like that are happening right now, which is why this space is so disruptive. And there's so much money about to come into this space. So this is a game that I'm currently um, getting ready to invest in right now called Thetan Arena. Thetan Arena is, uh, it's a MOBA, Okay. So what that means is like it's an arena based game where you're fighting it out with like four on four and you're it's a team battle over an objective. These are characters that you play in the game. Each of these characters is an NFT. All right. So you can see here listed for 100 USDT, which is Tether. That would be $100 basically. All right. And this is the sample market. The real market's getting ready to go live. Some of these will be $100, some of them will be $1,000, some of them will literally go for 20, 50,000 and more, okay, based on certain things. So what can happen here um, from a business side of things with the play to earn space, what's happening is somebody can purchase a character, not everybody can afford it, but in the game, when you complete objectives or you win tournaments or you do daily activities, they give you a certain amount of coin for completing that. And so there's games out there like this right now where you can earn $10 a day from playing the game. And you're like, well, Graham, that's not a lot of money. That doesn't get me excited, okay? First of all, it may not get you excited, but there's a whole lot of people in the world that are playing this game that are really excited about that because $10 a day is a living for them. Like it's a good living, like not a, not a crappy living. It's a good living. So you got to think outside of your own box and your own life. And you have to realize there's somebody out there that can't afford $100 to buy this, but they want to play this. So what we're actually teaching people to do is I will put up the money as an investor. I will buy the character. 
And then what I'll do for a business is I will literally put out a resume. Hey, who would like to come and play this game for a living? You might play for four hours a day, complete the daily quests, earn the coin. And then what we do is we split the profits that you made since I am put up the asset I will get 60% or sorry, I'll get 40%. You get 60%. So you keep 60% what you make. I get my 40% for a cut for allowing you to be able to play as an asset. And so we have people in our academy who literally have a hundred to 200 people playing one of these games for them where they have a hundred to 200 different assets or whatever. And they're able to put the money up for buying the asset the other people will actually play for them. So you're not even playing, you're off on the beach drinking a margarita or whatever you wanna do, whatever your dream is, okay? And this person is now working for you, playing with your asset, doing something they really enjoy, and they're making a better living than they could doing a regular nine to five job. And if you guys don't believe me, there's a documentary on YouTube, you can go look it up on what this is doing in the Philippines right now. And this game uh, called Axie Infinity, what this actually is doing for like entire societies providing an income from them. So us being more privileged with where we're from and what we make for an income, we can now put our money to work for us, right? Because you guys got to remember, and Darla, I know that you know this, but most people don't know this. 95% of people are broke or dead broke by the age of 65. 95% of the people you and I know are broke or dead broke. And it's because they never truly learn how to put their money to work for them. And so what this NFT blockchain space is allowing us to do is for those of us who are interested in this kind of thing, we can take our money, we can buy this as an asset, we can turn around and sell it later if we want. But in the meantime, a lot of times, like Trevor was saying, you can hold it, earn passive income from it, or you can put these things to work for you, let somebody play them, be active with it, participate, they're having fun, and now every, uh, every other week, you might say, okay, it's, it's payday today, right? I own a business, time to do payroll. Let me go through. We pay everybody their portion every two weeks. Um, and this is literally one of the skill sets we're teaching people to do now is going out and doing these. Um, there's another cool game. Y'all ever seen the movie Mad Max? I'm just going to show you some of these really cool projects right now because some of this stuff is just, is just really cool. I'm going to show you a game. This is called uh, War Riders, Okay. And let me see here if I can get right here. Y'all remember Mad Max, the movie, right? They're out in the desert fighting over resources. Like they got these souped up vehicles, like ready for war. This is another game in another space where they're doing this, where you actually physically own the vehicle. The vehicle is a non-fungible token. So you purchase the vehicle, you purchase the weapons, you deck it out, customize it. You get on with your buddies and you go out in the desert and you mine a resource called benzene. But benzene is not just an in-game resource. It's a cryptocurrency. It's real. Like you can go and sell it for US dollars or Canadian dollars, wherever you are in the world, right? So now there's a play to earn video game where you can actually go out and do this stuff with your buddies and earn real life money. So there's also uh, you, people literally run a business from this game where, hey, I'll buy the vehicles. I'll outfit the weapons. You go have fun out in the desert with your buddies. Go play Mad Max. And at the end of the day, we'll, again, we'll split it 50-50, 60-40, whatever. These are the type of things um, that we're teaching people how to do in the academy on top of, again, buying, selling, flipping, creating NFTs, um, all those kinds of things. So these are some of the things that excite me. Um, I get really, I don't know about y'all, I like changing lives. It was why I got involved in this, not only to change my own life, but because I saw the opportunity to help a lot of people out during this time. And that doesn't just include in the United States or people I know. That's people all around the world. So what NFTs are giving me the ability to do now is to go in and literally employ people who are happy to play a game for four hours, enjoy themselves. I can put the money up for it. And now i am got another stream of passive income. Now, for those of you that are business minded and you're like, well, hey, I don't really, uh, I'm not really into video games. Like that's fine, but you're into business, right? You're into multiplying your money, putting your money to work for you. Well, you have to think as well, you know, a lot of people, or you probably know some people that are into video games. So what you do and Darla, you just, people do this all the time. They're like, well, I'm not into this, but I know people such and such who is. So what do you do? You plug them into the academy where you have the ability to earn a passive income from referring somebody to come learn how to play video games and actually earn money. Cause most people who are playing video games, aren't earning money. They're just wasting their darn time. All right. Literally it's a waste of time. 
Now, oddly enough, when my mom told me when I was younger, well, you'll never make a dime from that. It's a waste of time. Mom, turns out that that's not true. I'm sorry, but that ended up not, not being, I'm sorry. I don't think she's on here, but she'll probably see this at some point. So <laughs> parents, you got to be careful what you say to your kids because this is 2021. Things are a little different now, right? There's a lot of opportunity that's popping up in the world. But if you're business minded, you've got the opportunity to now refer that person and say, hey, we have academy where they're actually teaching people how to make money from video games, investing in the company, how to do this. And now you can earn a passive income from it. So it's just, again, another tool in your pocket to create multiple streams of money and put your money to work for you. So that's the major thing that I wanted to show you guys uh, and share with you. It's something that excites me. I like video games. It's one of my, it's one of my guilty pleasures um, and something that I've always enjoyed in this space. And so I love that now there's a way that I can help other people also to earn a living and be able to make money doing this, literally earn a living playing a video game. It sounds crazy, but it's happening every single day now. Um, and I'm just, I'm so fired up about that. I want to, I want to interrupt you, Graham. So my husband sure. is, my husband is the COO to a global gaming manufacturing company and their sales are just out the roof because video gaming is up so high you just blew my mind right now because he doesn't even play video games and he's a ceo of the company. He's never played a video game That's i don't even play video games but i know thousands and thousands of people that play video games that have teenagers the parents are complaining because their kids are in their room all day playing video games this just opened my mind to something next level and I, i'd also love it if you could just take a minute and talk about your daughter how old is your daughter? She's already doing NFTs. She's already made money selling her first NFT. Talk about that to parents. Yeah. So my daughter's uh, 15. Uh, her name's Gabriella, and she got involved in this. She had a class project for her school where they had an entrepreneurship class. And so a lot of the kids in the class, they basically uh, they had to take $10 and start a business and do whatever they could do it, uh, make as much money as they could. Right. And then at the end, they all choose a charity and they give it to the charity. And so a lot of people in her class, the kids were, you know, going and baking goods or like all the things you would think of like normally that people would do to raise money, you know, do a car wash or do this. And I was like, I was like, hey, why don't you come and buy an NFT and flip it and sell it? And you will literally be the only kid in your class who even knows what an NFT is probably, but you're going to be the only person in the history of the school to ever do this. Right. And she was like, okay. So she came on and we bought a, uh, it was called Happy Pups. All right. And I'll show you guys the project because it's, it's kind of cute. Like there, it's really cool what the, what people are doing, right? There you go. Happypups.io. Um, and so the project that she chose was Happy Pups because it was literally um, a project that was designed and created to save this dog that needed kidney uh, stone removal, which is like a really expensive surgery for those of you that are, are pet lovers and you know. If I scroll down here, like, yeah, there's the dog right there. So it was to save this dog's life. And so all the proceeds from the sales went to it. So she minted, okay, just like, you know, we talk about the mint where you mint a coin, right? Like the United States would mint currency. You mint this because it literally is a currency, okay? It's an NFT, which is a currency, um, which you can exchange for another currency. So she minted one of these, uh, turned around and sold it. And then the other one was uh, something called Soul Tiger, um, that we got into, which Grace actually bought. And so we're going to introduce Grace here in a second. Um, Grace was in on that, we, but we turned around, we auctioned both of these off and she raised several hundred dollars uh, flipping NFTs, um, just like Trevor and I and the rest of us are doing with the NFT space. Um, so it was just a really cool experience getting her involved. And uh, like, your, like your daughter, Dollar, she's also, she trades HFX. She's been learning about the markets. And she's like, you know, for her, she's like, wait a second, I don't have to go to work at McDonald's or go do something like I can actually learn how to make money like this and never have to like, listen to anybody in a job and have a bot and like, hey, that's what's available to you here if you, if you really plug in. It's crazy because our daughter's in college and her, I don't, I don't know what you call it, major, I don't know college well, major or whatever you call it, is did video digital audio or video digital design or whatever and it's this market it's so it's crazy and so she had painted a picture and she thought i'm going to put this on ebay and see if somebody will buy it and somebody bought that picture like in an hour <laughs> that's amazing 
So on, on that note, I just wanted to, for those of you that have limited beliefs, I'm about to just wipe it out, okay? This NFT was created by a 12-year-old kid, okay? I want you to take a look at, uh, this one is Benoni. I don't know if this, I think this is the one that's verified and correct. It's got 3,500. This one may or may not be it. Um, the overall volume traded, I don't think this can be right because this only says 1.8K Ethereum. That can't be the right one. Maybe Trevor knows. There's, I want to make sure I show you guys the right one. No, that may be it. I may just be looking at the wrong volume over time. This guy, uh, this kid, he's 12 years old who created these, okay? And, these, and this is exactly what they are, the weird whales. He made over 400,000 in two, two months at 12 years old because he learned how to do a simple coding program, created these little pixelated whales and put them on the, on the space and started selling them. Uh, and so 12 years old, did $400,000 in two months. So if, for those of you that had kids, like don't limit your kids. This guy's 12 years old who did this, turned around and made a lot of money. Uh, and it's just absolutely amazing, right? So don't put limits on your kids. Get them involved and get them excited about getting involved in something now, which is going to be very relevant in their future. And like, I, I don't want to mention it too much, but you guys have probably been seeing all the stuff about the metaverse on Facebook. That is not anything new. It's been in the, it's been in the making for a while. And there's been several companies that have been talking about the metaverse and trying to create it and be the first ones to like get it out there, right? So this is not a new thing that Mark Zuckerberg and the, and the Facebook elites are trying to do. This has been around for a while and they still may not even be the first ones to produce it. But M like NFTs is a direct part of the metaverse, right? Like if there's a metaverse, which you may not know what a metaverse is, that's totally fine. Just imagine all the different cartoons and everything you know, all in an online digital space that you can tap into virtually, right? Hate it or love it, agree with it or not, you have to understand that's where things are going and that's where the masks are going. And it's all based off of NFTs. The NFTs are going to be the characters in the metaverse. So why would you not go and invest in NFTs now before everybody wants them, before everybody's like grasping to get their NFT, right? Learn about the space now. And that's what we're, that's what we're promoting and teaching in the academy is how to get involved safely, effectively, efficiently. So that way you're protecting your money and maximizing your profits, essentially. So Hey, Graham, by the way, yeah. the, the weird whales, that, that is the project you're talking about because they, you know, he, he, sold, he made that money off of the launch and whatever NFT, whatever Ethereum price was at that point. But either way, 1.8 thousand uh, Ethereum trading volume, that's still seven and a half million dollars. Yeah, the there you go. So right? seven and a half million dollars in his project. <laughs> that's incredible. Thanks so much. I can't hear I wait to hear what Grace has to say. <laughs> yeah. Well, very good. Well, thanks for, thanks for having me. I'm going to kick it off and, and give it over to you and to Grace, who's been kicking the NFT space in the butt as well. Thank you, Graham. All right, sweet. Y'all put a 777 in the chat for Graham and for Trevor and for Darla for setting this up. This is some fascinating information. And I, I don't know about you, but I learned a ton just from that couple minutes, like some of the things in video games, like I never played video games as a kid. So I had no bearings on what I was getting myself into with this space. And in all honesty, I was just curious about it. Like probably about a year and a half ago, I was just like, what is this stuff? And I just wanted to learn more. And so I dove into the academy, started learning about it. And I, like you heard Graham, I bought the NFT from his daughter for selling for, for her first project that she got to do and flip that and help a little, budding entrepreneur come up with uh, the coolest project that anybody in middle school has ever done so that was super exciting so that was my first project um and what's cool with the soul tiger is um every friday we get a little bit of a royalty for being just a part of the community so it's passive income every time and that needs to chill out um yeah, so that's a really cool project. And then just being in the community with Trevor, I've got some of the Soul Yeti, or yeah, the Soul Yeti. And this morning was super cool because we got up, woke up, and then I got my baby Yeti airdropped to me. And so that was a, a really cool, um, exciting moment for me. Now, I'm going to share my screen real quick because I got an email the other week. And so 
back, background, I played soccer in college and then um, coached for a little bit after that. And so this really, really excited me. Let me see. There we go. Let's see. You'll see. All right, cool. So I got an email about how NFTs are going to start impacting student athletes like in the NCAA and all that stuff because um, now they're able to pursue um, name, likeness, all of these factors, and they can just start creating um, NFTs for that space. And I was like, wow, if this would have been a thing when I was an athlete, A, I wouldn't have had to have a job. B, I probably would have paid off all my student loans at this point. And C, like, there's no other thing that I would have rather been doing than trying to figure this stuff out as a student athlete, because all your time spent doing athlete and school. And so having another job on the side wasn't really like the coolest thing to do, wasn't the easiest thing to do. And so now the fact that kids could literally sit in their dorm room in their downtime and create an NFT and start to make passive income off of that while they're playing, that is exciting to me. And so along with that, I get super nerdy and I'm like, if I would have, what, what's cool is if, if we could take the physical and make it the digital, and now we can have my championship rings as an NFT, then people would be able to see them. So rather than it sitting on my desk in my house where nobody can see it unless they come over to my house, all they would have to do is go open my public wallet and they'd be able to see my collection of NFTs. And so that to me is something really exciting when in the space of um, athletics. And now well, last week, actually a few days ago, I just ended up at an event um, in Dallas with one of the educators, uh, Zach Hogan in the academy. And we were just chilling there and he was talking about um, just some NFT projects and just some different ways that we could start to see this. And so when we got to the building, I'm just gonna walk you through a little story, a scenario that he came up with. We were in the building and there was only one key to get into the building. And every time somebody tried to come into the event, somebody would have to go unlock the door. We tried to block the door and, and prop it up. And he goes, all right, this would, NFTs would solve this problem. So the owner of the building would be able to issue out an NFT on his phone to the person that rented out the space. That person who rented out the space would be able to give that NFT to a select number of people to get into the building for a set number of time. So that NFT would only last for the, the two hours that the event was, and then you'd just be able to turn it off and then move on with our day. And so that was something that I thought was like fascinating. And I was like, wow, I've never heard anything like that. And so there's just so much room for growth and room for um, different projects to come about. And I couldn't be more excited to be continually learning, especially from these guys in the rest of the academy and just being in this community. I'm like, so, Great. so excited. I wanted to interrupt you because you just gave me an idea. So like a concert, selling concert tickets, they could do the NFT as a ticket, but it's not, you can't like scam it and send a picture to your friend or snap a screenshot and send it because it's coded so that when they go scan it. So this is in essence, you know, this reminds me of the first time I went to the grocery store and saw a self-checkout and I was like, what is that? And now self-checkouts are everywhere because you're scanning your own things. It's reinventing industries. It's reinventing things. So notaries, yep. having something notarized, there's no need for a notary anymore, right? <laughs> yeah, that's what it feels like, right? Um, I know that uh, Mark Cuban's trying to do some NFTs with seats at games and so people can buy the box seat or whatever seat that they get and that's their seat there nobody can steal their tickets nobody can take that away from them and if they just want to sell one ticket they can send it out to a friend they get the ticket so it's like creating that trust within the community where you actually have the real thing like there's nothing more that makes me excited than the fact that you can't, you can't mess it up. Like that's, you can't fake it. You can't disrupt it. Like it is, it is the true, you are the sole owner of that asset or ticket or 
kind of so many ways that this could work. So like we live in a big high rise downtown in San Diego and it's a smart building. Like yeah. it knows when your elevator, you come in, but your key to your home, if you don't have your fob, you can't hide your fob. If you forget your fob, you can't get into your apartment. Right. And so if you had an NFT, you could use your NFT at the door and that's your key. This is brilliant. What this is going to do for businesses. Right. There's just so many things that are happening that I'm like super excited about. So yeah, that's, that's pretty much what I wanted to say. And I'm super excited to continue learning and just thank you so much. Yeah, this was, I've absolutely, you know, I'm ignorant to this completely ignorant. And because I'm old school, it's even harder. So we think, you know, but it's true because you kids are just smarter. And so you've really opened my mind to something. My entrepreneur brain just went into a whole new channel of ways that I can, I don't have to be the one. That's what I like. I like things that I don't have to be the one. Right. And, and so for those of you that are watching this and this is interesting to you, that is the stuff. This is just one little tiny piece of what you learn in this academy. And it, meeting all you guys, you know, I meet you guys and I just love watching you, especially you, Trevor. You're 24 years old and you'll never work a job. You'll, you're, you know, you're going to be someone that I'm going to say, I knew him when I was this little kid, you know, not kid, but, you know, I'm, double plus your age. And now my daughter, this is happening to my daughter and I get to witness this. It's just so exciting. So for those of you that are watching, you got to get more information on this, get back with the person who invited you here and, and get into this academy and start learning about this space. It's the educational platform where you learn all this stuff that these people talk about. Anything else you guys want to say? I'll listen. <laughs> Just super grateful and thankful to be here. And for those, some of you, um, I love that you touched on what you touched on, Grace, because there's so many aspects that we didn't even get in tonight that we don't even possibly have time for. But you guys got to understand, those of you that are involved in real estate, wait till you see what NFTs in this space is doing in real estate, where transactions now that take weeks or months and get, and get plugged up happen like that. Like there's so many areas that this is disrupting. And so whenever something is disruptive like that, you should be paying attention and plugging in because disruptive means profits. That's what it means just straight up, right? It means opportunity. Um, so be paying attention and plug in now. Don't wait. Awesome. Yeah, like, do you want to be ahead of the trend or behind the trend? Well, I'm voting ahead. So yeah, and then there's a whole nother, it's a big rabbit hole, guys, but just get plugged in. First things first is get educated. It's hard alone. We go, we go fast alone, but far together. And we're here to support every single person. So like, you know, just wait till you can even fractionalize real estate and you can own just a piece of a house, 1% of a house. <laughs> so um, that being said, um, guys, throw it back to Darla for hosting this. Thank you for having us. Cause she's a busy, busy human. She works around the clock. She has, you know, countlessly, she's helping tremendously amount, a lot of uh, people, but guys, stay tuned for tonight. If you guys have more time on your plate, tune in in half an hour because Darla's going live again um, with her whole family and sharing the stories behind of what this has done for her, for her husband, for her daughter, and what's really happening behind the curtain. So guys, definitely, if, if you still have the time in your, in your evening schedule, come tune in on that call because guys, the stories that will be shared are going to be mind boggling and you got to hear it because man, you know, your daughter, what turned 18, what, like, was it like Thursday or Friday on the 27th? Yeah. Yeah. Literally just a few days ago. And, um, I just see the stories and the posts and it's like, wowzers. And I'm so grateful that, you know, you as, um, that mother, you can give that opportunity for your daughter, um, for your husband and, and just be, you know, the most amazing, um, mom and wife as you, as you are. So I appreciate you appreciate guys. It. Learn a lot from you guys. Thanks, everyone. Get back with the person who invited you on this and just do it. Do it. Just do it. <laughs> you won't regret it. <laughs> All right. Thanks, everybody. Drop a seven, right. seven, seven in for everybody. Thank you, Grace. Thank you, Graham. Thanks, Trevor. Bye, everyone. See you in a half if, hour. If I had music, this is where I would play music, right? No. <laughs> Bye, you guys. Appreciate Bye. you. <laughs> Bye.